of this app is YouTube. That's right, YouTube, the app that comes with your phone, has been updated now uh, to a new version. I think if you have Android 2.2, uh, it might be 2.1, but I think it's 2.2, or, um, yeah, there's nothing after 2.2, then you can download an updated version of the app right on the market and check the happy box just like you can in Gmail now to say automatically update this going forward. So Boom. let me pull up this uh, YouTube app. It's so weird having this uh, come from the market. Yeah, but okay. it is... Uh, completely completely redesigned oh <coughs> looks like google tv almost yeah it does excuse me so it scrolls <coughs> yeah that's good scrolling action. got a little bit of a cough going on sorry guys <coughs> um, um. but everything on here is black now instead of uh, like that grayish color yeah it's more entertainment focused yeah well like the yeah it's 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 black um but here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull up my channel and i have uh gtv apps up on here already uh -huh. to make a perfect example oh what is he doing and it's going sideways i uh i did the google tv app review on uh on our other show yeah and when you click on videos now when you search or when you're on somebody's channel it does this handy you know nifty little thing of actually playing the video right inside the app without going full screen automatically. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so that's you helpful. can watch it. It'll be playing. Uh, you can scroll through uh, the description and everything and read it and click on a link. Um, but if you rotate, it's weird in hearing two of my own voices. So if you rotate the screen, Ooh. it automatically goes full screen. Boom. Take care of it. So I just took care of that. And you go back. Um, but you can also, I think it's, yeah, single tapping pauses, double tapping yeah, brings nice. it full screen. I like that, uh, the, the button to, to the slider button. Yeah. It's big, much bigger. bigger, much bigger than what it was yeah, before. It's like finger sized. Nice. And you can, can you change high quality, low quality, whatever? Yep. So let me see. I'll pop it back over here. You just hit that button Ooh. and then it switches Ooh. into high quality mode. That is some high quality video. I gotta keep an eye on uh, what I'm doing up there. Sorry. <laughs> so. Cool. I like it. <clears throat> you can stop it now. Yeah. It it, it just takes it? a second when you back out. Oh, okay. It does. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> Couple seconds. Um, but one of the cool things about this, when you go to my channel, um, let's see. Well, right now I'm. It, it says sign out on there. That's the one thing I have to do. I just hit my channel. Um, click on sign out. Then when you go back into my channel, it will prompt you for all the uh, different accounts that you have oh, cool. uh, signed into on your phone. And originally I had these three. I didn't have the GTV Apps account. I went down to add account and signed in uh, with that. And it actually uh, keeps that information on there. You can log in. Um, but otherwise, it pulls information from the other Google Google accounts you already have How clever. on your phone. So some pretty cool stuff. There's all kinds of like little tweaks and stuff that they've done to this. Uh, these tabs right here across the top of the description where it has info. Uh, you drag your finger like this, and it kind of pulls oh. over more. You can click yeah. on comments. I want to pause this, please. And uh, related videos. That's snappy too. Yeah, and That's this is a G one, you know. Wow. So then That's you have nice. your rating stuff up here. Nice. And uh, extra stuff that you're used to seeing on the full YouTube website. This looks so much like, like a Google TV app. I'm. Yeah. They it's, should totally make this. <laughs> well, I got a feeling that's in the works. In the works. You know. <laughs> um. But yeah, they've they've really done a lot of improvements, and uh, I I'm happy to say like the more that they decouple from the operating system like this, uh, and allow for individual updates, oh, for I sure. think this is the kind of results that we're gonna see. Yeah. Um, nice high quality upgrades mm -hmm. uh, to the the apps that you're already used to. 
Yeah, and if there was a little bug in this, they could just send another update right away. Yeah. I mean, it used to be uh, that all this stuff was rolled right into every release. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, when you had a specific release for your phone, it came with that YouTube version. And there was no way to update that without releasing another OTA update. Uh, and you got to go through all this stuff. Yeah. So. Kind of crazy if you think about it. Yeah. It really is. And we, we talked about this. Well, you know, it was a, while, a long time ago that with yeah. 2.2, some decoupling was going to be mm -hmm. uh, coming. And nobody really knew what that meant, but we're starting to see the results of it. Yeah, it's cool. So pretty Super happy. Cool. Pretty happy with it.